be my best friend. Okay. I'll tell you stories and we'll play together. We can pretend. Wanna be monsters? Not really. How about circus ringmasters? Or race car drivers? Gee, Corky, when you talk about something, it's almost real. I know some great songs, too. We will be best friends. Corky, he's Cricket's little brother by Playmates. Monsters. Are your kids monsters? Count Minimon's the answer. And who can do hip-hop better than a frog can? Get down with the street frog. And hold on for exciting action and underwater adventure with the Tiger Sharks. All coming up on the... C-O-N-I-C S-T-R-I-P Come on, take a trip on the comic strip On the comic strip Cinnamon and sugar for a special homemade taste. Part of this nutritious breakfast. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. A blizzard is coming. A Dairy Queen blizzard. Free with this coupon on specially marked boxes of Cinnamon Toast Crunch and Golden Grahams. Okay, now you keep your eye on this timer and I'll show you a little magic. In exactly 20 seconds, I'm going to make your little sister appear in this kitchen out of nowhere. Now, here's the magic. One whiff of this apples and cinnamon Quaker instant oatmeal would wake up sleeping beauty. I smell apples and cinnamon. See what I mean? Instant Quaker oatmeal. It's the right thing to do and a tasty way to do it. You know, show some authority. Okay, kids, cool it. This is your father speaking. The voice of authority. <laughs> some authority figure you are. These kids are monsters. We'll never last the summer with them home. We need a break. Hey, kids, how about camp this summer? Summer camp? Mm -hmm. Camp? Camp? Gross! It ugh! Blech! Wrong old Papa Bear! Here's an ad for one in today's paper, Camp Minimon. Camp Minimon. Sounds Indian. Nice. They said there'd be a welcoming committee. It seems there's been a mistake. Mistake? Never mind. It's too late for that. Clots! <laughs> the clots will show you to your bunks. Sleep tight. <laughs> Leave it, but I want my daddy.
Hey, good morning, campers. <laughs> Time for Betty Bye. Time to go to bed? What's going on here? Hold it down, please. I've had a long night. Hello? Frankie, what's going on out there? Yeah! Well, strange one, you will pay the price for disturbing a vampire's sleep. Frankie! Vampire? You're a... Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm Momo. And that's Dracky. Hey, Franklin, it meet my new manager. <laughs> Hi, kid. Nice to know ya. <laughs> hey guys, meet uh I'm Sherman. Sherman? Not another one. What a weird group. In this group, you're the weird one, ordinary mortal. Hey, who you call an ordinary, you feathered flake? Feathered flake? <laughs> Lad, just a bit of prestidition. That's prestidigitation, Melvin. How's that in English? Car baby. <laughs> <laughs> Car baby? That's the last straw. I resign. Sorry about that, Merlin. Lost my head for a moment there, I did. Thanks, Dad. Hey, are there more of you guys? This could be a fun summer. Wolfie's the name, comedy's the game. You hear the one about the crow who was fired from his job for cause? Get it? Cause? <laughs> Welcome to Camp Minimum. Let's go eat. I'm starved. Not me. I've got to catch up on some Z's. Big night coming up. Oh, Franken, could you give this an ironing? It's a mess. Sure thing, boss. It'll be ready tonight. Ain't no appetite, huh? Well, me, I'm starved when I'm in training. Well, on second thought, you could bring me back a bite. The din din is served, campers. Hey, don't be shy. Oh, yeah, sure. <clears throat> uh, nice to meet you, Blanco. Same here. Getting cold. Eat up. Mmm, looks good. <laughs> I'm starved. Don't anybody eat the... <laughs> Hi, kids. Uh, people? Uh, anyone see my brother Sherman? Uh, excuse me, kid. I was just in the middle of a little trick. Abracadabra, presto changeo. Let me handle this, you little twerp. Hey, that was really neat. I'm gonna like this place a lot. Anyone see Sherman? some heart-to-heart -heart girl talk. You see, Sherman, uh, Sherman is having identity problems. Not sure exactly who he is. You know what I mean? Where is he? Working it out. You know, uh, in his own space. Melissa, we gotta talk. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. We'll get him back. Let's see. A hair of newt, a pinch of ground rhinoceros horn. Watch carefully. Melvin the Master is at work. Ba ba boom! Yeah. 
Melvin, could we have a private chat, my boy? Yeah, sure. Great trick, huh? And now for the finale. Can somebody tell me where the phone is? I have to call home. The little lady wants a phone? Thanks. Hey, what cute rabbits. You're great, Melvin. I think you'd better hit the books, old boy, before this place turns into a zoo. Hi, Mom. Yes, I'm fine. Uh-huh. Sherman? Oh, he's turned into a... a pussycat. Charles, good news. Sherman has turned into a pussycat. Well, that's great. I knew that camp would change him. Have a good summer, Melissa, and tell the little pussycat that Mommy and Daddy love him. Bye. I think I've got it. Come on. You sure this is going to work? Guaranteed to change him. Oh, great, Jinx. What are we going to do now? Where there's a spell, there's a way. Come on. You need lights. Uh, you sure? Positive. Okay. Dad, help! Merlin will help. Thank you, sire. You hear the one about the 500-pound mouse? Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Hey, what was it like being a mouse? Get off of it, Melissa. It wasn't funny. Well, that was some first day at camp. <laughs> You've never seen a camp like Camp Minimon. Coming up next. in the colored pegs and see Foofer, Ghostbusters, Potato Head Kids, dozens of your favorite characters, or create your own light pictures. Light bright, light bright, turn on the magic of shining lights. Light bright from Milton Bradley. Incredible Battle Chariot, the Ram, the Tiger, the Reindeer, Battle Beast, and in battle transport vehicles that change into battle stations, the Beetle, Firebird, and Shark, Battle Beast, and to carry your army, there's the Bandolier. Let's battle! Boy! Fire! Fire Beast Boy! Battle Beast can grow into an army! Bandolier, Chariots, and Transports, each sold separately. Battle Beast! <laughs> Any suntan oil, boss? Oh, pass, my man. How about a soda? No thanks, Frankie. What in the? Frankie, my main man! Did you just see what I saw? What's that, boss? A flying saucer! Hey, what a guy you are, boss. Style, wit, and what a sense of humor. Wow! A flying saucer! We better keep our mouths shut, otherwise they'll think we're crazy and send us home. A fate worse than a Martian invasion. Top secret. Our lips are sealed. Come in, ruthless leader! Greetings, Lester. The time has come for me to reveal your mission. You are to study the Earthling species to see if we can take them over with our Martian forces. You are... Your two minutes are up. Please deposit $86,000 for the next two minutes. Gotta run. Have a nice light year. Double 
him with a swan dive twist. <laughs> oh, it's always that last part that gets me. That reminds me of a joke. There was a hand. Invasion! Invasion! We're being invaded by Martians from outer space. <laughs> Martians? From outer space? Tracky, I think you're finally going batty. I never thought I'd live to see the day when I said this, but I have to agree with you, young Melvin. <gasps> uh, greetings and salutations, you all. Hi. Mama, Mama. Hey, that's my machinery. Uh, right. Sorry about that. My mistake. Far out. You must be the new camper the director told us about. Welcome. Um, new camper? Yes, right, that's it. I'm a camper. Lester's the name. Groovy, far out. What it is? I'm Frankie. I can dig your bag. Wolfie here. Ah, the old joy buzzer gets them every time. Welcome, welcome. You'll fit right in. Lunch time! Last one to the mess hall is majorly uncool! Come in, ruthless leader! The ruthless leader is out pillaging and plundering. Please leave your message at the beep. Phase one accomplished! The Earthlings believe I'm one of them! Proceeding with phase two, testing the Earthlings for strength! Over and out. Hi, gang. Hi. Any of you dudes man enough to engage in a little arm wrestling contest? My good man, let's you and Kim do combat. Right, boss. But I haven't arm wrestled in a long time. I'm a little rusty. Let's go! Yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Your mother wears army boots! You know my mother? Victory! What a cream puff! Recreation time, my fellow hipsters! Come in, ruthless leader! How did the test of strength go? The Earthling fell apart! Your imperial overweightness? Excellent! <laughs> Proceed with the next test, the test of speed. Yes, sir! Your exalted largeness, sir! Over and out! One, two, three! For a foot race? Far out! Two volunteers! I'll be the referee! On your marks! Get set! I'm set! Go! And they're off! It's Rocky in the lead by a bang! It's a tough race! The ruling! Lester looks a little bit green! But then he always looks green! Break it! Break it, my man! Yeah, boss? Some mineral water. Right, boss. My goodness. Three o'clock. Time for my beauty rest. Nighty night, boss. <laughs> They don't call him Klutz for nothing! <laughs> so long, sucker! <laughs> Lester's down, and Klutz is up and running! But wait! You're running in the wrong direction! Oh, ow! I won! You guys are real wimps! have won the race, your royal fatness. The Earthlings should be easy to defeat in the speed department. 
fine work. Proceed to the final test, the test of intelligence. Yes, sir! That little green creep is planning to take over Camp Minimon. Camp Minimon? He's planning to take over the world. We have to tell someone and get help. No one would believe us, Sherman. So what are we going to do? I've got a plan. How about a little word test, Wolfie baby? You bet! I say a word, and you say the first thing that comes into your mind. You got it, green guy. Shoot. Ball. Oh, why did the werewolf bring a rope to the baseball game? Because he wanted to tie up the score. <laughs> Get it? Tie up? <laughs> Everyone's a critic. I'm out of here. The Earthling has failed the word test, ruthless leader. Good work, Lester. Prepare to return to Mars. Yes, sir. Over and out. That Lester is some major league jerk. We'll show him who's a wimp. Shh, here he comes. <laughs> Nothing like an interplanetary conquest to brighten up your day. There, Lester. We have to negotiate. We'll do a deal with you. Go find another planet to pester, or we'll make your life a total misery. You got it! You got it! I'm out of here! <laughs> Messing around in the craft shop. Get ready for the mini monsters. And now hear this, campers. Bed check in one minute. Stand by your bunks for inspection by our new camp counselor. Wouldn't you know it, a bed check on my birthday. You missed a spot there, Frankie. Oh, sorry, Drac. Uh, boss, uh, let me shine those shoes for you. <laughs> Shaman, out of bed, buddy. Bed check. Can't. My stomach. Belly ache. Must have been the swamp soup. Oh, swamp soup. Good morning, man. Uh, guys, the uh, kids, uh, whatever. Uh, yes, never mind. My name is Garrison. You can call me Gary. I'm your new head counselor, and I want to be your friend. Ah, yes, uh, bed check. Stand by your beds. Attention, hut. Hey, what? Oh boy, you sure said the magic words, Gary. Yes, <laughs> you really set him off. I wouldn't want to be in your shoes. Last time Frankie got revved up, it was real trouble. It was jolly distressing, old boy. Not. A pretty thing to see. But I... But I only want to be your friend. Ah! <laughs> 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 hey! <laughs> we 
just get rid of our fifth camp counselor in a month. <laughs> Hey, Sherman, Klutz is here to take you to the infirmary. <laughs> yeah! Oh! 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 <laughs> you too? The swamp soup? Uh, no, the green hamburgers. Oh! Oh. Oh. Well, oh. what have we here? <laughs> oh, tummy acres. The kindly old Dr. Jekyll has just the thing. <laughs> he seems nice. Yeah, too nice almost. <laughs> Good. My, my assistant, Mr. Hyde, has dropped the tummy tamers. <laughs> that was some strange assistant. A little noisy, isn't he? Mm, a bit. But over the years, I've grown attached to him. Now, drink it all down, and you'll feel much better. I think I'll ask Jinx to fix us up something. Yeah, anything would be better than that. That's much better. <laughs> Tummy's all cured? <laughs> good. Oh, we're feeling much better. Cured, actually. Ah, good. Come and see the kindly doctor anytime. <laughs> oh! Oh! Are you sure, Jinx? Remember the last time I... Positive. Here goes. Hey, it worked. I feel great. Leave it to Jinx. Now you can join the party for Draggy. It's his birthday. Great! I've made my specialty. Caterpillar pie. Oh. Surprise! Happy birthday, Draggy! Happy birthday! No sign of him. Must be my lucky day. Where is that miserable, stuck-up, lovable little monster? Probably went out for a bite. <laughs> Not amusing. The boss would never miss his own party. I'm worried. I'll tell you what we ought to do. A search party! Yay! We'll play it by the book. Now, the book says, in the event of a lost camper, the first thing to do is form a search See anything up there, Wolfie? I'm not looking yet. I've got to do my bit first. Gee, that's better. Hey, did you hear the one about the crow? Who always complained without cause. Without cause. Get it? Cause? Is there no end to your joviality name? Hey, watch it with that kind of talk, Beaky. Beaky? Beaky? Maybe he fell into the swimming hole. Ah, the boss hates water. If I find a piper trader, I'll murder the alleged bum. <laughs> So take it easy. It's only Lagoon, our lifeguard. Hey, I'm Lagoon. You sure are. Hey, look. It's Draggy's cape, and it's all wrinkled. Don't worry, kids. Uncle Gary's here. 
pull yourself together, Gary. Let's do this by the book. The book! F, 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 fear. How not to be afraid. Page 56. Whoa! You the new counselor? Uh, how, 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 how did you know? Figures. You in the tree and all. You want your book back or what? I guess so. I'm Mr. Gary. I mean, Gary. I'm Blanco. Good to see you. Uh, I, I mean, uh... Let's go look for Draggy. I'll take a look from up top. Hey, what's going on? You find Draggy? Not a trace. The plot thins. We now hear this. Break out! Break out! Everyone to their cell in the bunks on the double. Gee, it's not the same without old Drackey around. Yeah. Dibs on his roller skates. I get his baseball mitt. Football's mine. Scavengers. It's him! The little rat! He's alive! Oh. Hey, good to have you back in action, boss. I was taking a walk in the woods, and I got this terrible bellyache, so I flew back in a hurry. You too? Yeah, it must have been that dreadful stuffed lizard gizzard you cooked. That lizard gizzard was fine! I liked it. Stuffed lizard gizzard! Oh. Speaking of food, do you know what a 500-pound mouse has for breakfast? Anything he wants, old boy. Hey, no fair telling the punchline. <laughs> Forget it, Wolfie. You've got a million of them. <laughs> for s'mores crunch cereal. Oh no, a tornado! Oh my, what a dreadful draft. I'll just turn this terrible twister into a terrific feast of chocolatey grams and star marshmallow treats. Wow, s'mores crunch! A magical part of this nutritious breakfast. Can we have s'mores? Certainly, s'mores crunch cereal with new marshmallow stars. Kid sister, kid sister, kid sister, wherever I go, she's gonna go. Kid sister, kid sister, kid sister, kid sister, whatever I do, she wants to do too. And what a surprise, she's got winky wink eyes, kid sister and me. We're the best friends there could be. Kid sister, kid sister, kid sister, kid sister, kid sister and me. Kid sister, now with wink and blink eyes from Play School. Do hip hop better than a frog can? Street frogs, street frogs. I'm Big Mac. Call me Spider. Moose the loose. Honey love the rector. Dr. Slip. We're the street frogs. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Street frogs. Who can do hip hop better than a frog can? Street frogs. Are you addressing me? No, I'm talking to myself. I thought so. Because if you are addressing me, the name's Honey Love. Honey Love? Ha! <laughs> Sounds like some kind of new health food. Honey Love happens to be my new stage name. Like, I'm in a group now, Snappy Sam. A band. What band? The Street Frogs.
applause, Snappy Sam, please. Now get ready for the heat of the beat. With the Prince of Percussion, the sticky one himself, the new sensation of syncopation, Spider. Presenting the Head Hopper. The mean bopper, the boss breaker, the one and only Mr. Excitement, Moose the Loose. And now, the one you've all been waiting for, the glamorous, the incorrectable, the newest, the brightest, the hottest, star of stage, scream, and snappy sounds, Honey Love. Uh, honey, honey Love. love. Also known as me. Hey, what about me? I'm sticky. I'm wet. What about my intro? Oh, yeah. This is Big Max, who just fell flat on his face, as usual. Very exciting. Call yourselves a group? Ha! <laughs> Your act just croaked. <laughs> yeah, get it? Street frogs croaked. <laughs> <laughs> Delivery for Snappy Sam's Diner. Hey, Sam, looks like one of your relatives is here. Happy birthday, Snappy Sam. <laughs> From all the guys at the bowling club. Hey, the guys remembered my birthday. Looks like we got breakfast. There's enough there for six. May I call? Forget it, guys. It's all for me. Let me have it. <clears throat> You got it! <laughs> <laughs> Neat move. Where'd you get a gig like that? This service comes to you. Courtesy of the Hopline. The Hopline. Have a nice day now. <laughs> got a problem? We'll hop to it. Call the Hopline. W-R-I-B Radio. 23 and a half hours a day. Frog, that's the kind of number we need. That's slick. That's the way to make a little seed. We could even cut a record. We can go on the road. But how are we going to meet this Mr. Typhoon Toad? Hmm. If we could get a steady number on the hop line, after school or weekends, we could earn the seed to cut a demo tape and get to know Typhoon Toad. <laughs> he sees our act, Frog. He'll wig out. He'll put us on WRIB. And we'll be stars. Let's check out this hotline action. This is Typhoon Toad hitting the road. Put more bop in your hop, more bop in your jump on WRIB. Ribbit. W11 on your dial. Here's our first caller. You got the hotline. Lay it on me. My daughter decided to get married today. Congratulations! When's she getting married? I told you, today. You mean like today? Ribbit, you need help. You're not kidding. Food for 50. A couple of waiters? The works. I'll go 300 plus supplies. All right! You heard the man. Anybody out there in listener land want to lay on a wedding feast? You heard the man. Let's check it out. We can do that job without a doubt. Let's hit it! Hey! Wait a minute! I'm hopping. I'm sticky. I can hit it too! I guess I just hit it. That was Freddy Hopper with Rack Me, Rack Me, Round Your Finger on WRIB Ribbit Radio. Typhoon Toad on tap. Stay with us here. Okay, Street Frogs, you got the gig. Hope you can handle it. No way. Out of the question. Forget it. We figured on cutting you in, Snappy Sam. Say, 25%. 50. Deal. Uh, one more thing. I'm warning you, no mess. And you pay for any damage. Got that? Deal. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mr. 
Mr. Frog Dancer, he can hip hop. Mr. Frog Dancer, he's the tip top. He can do it like nobody's ever done. He is Frog Dancer, number one. He gets down and never comes up to rest When you think he's out of stuff, he shows you his best He's impossible to follow, it's no contest, he's the one When you're out of it, he's only just begun Mr. Frog Dancer, he can hip hop Mr. Frog Dancer, he's the tip top He can do it like nobody's ever done He is Frog Dancer, number one Nobody dancing when he's out on the floor And when the music stops, the crowd wants more They can never get enough of his routine He's the best the city street has ever seen Mr. Frog Dancer, he can hip hop Mr. Frog Dancer, he's the tip top He can do it like nobody's ever done He is Frog Dancer, number one Got moves you never dreamed of trying Just ask around if you think I'm lying Mr. Frog Dancer He can hip hop Mr. Frog Dancer He's a tip top He can do it like nobody's ever done He is Frog Dancer Number one Mr. Frog Dancer He can hip hop Lay it on me, my little lily pads. What's the score? Well, they loved us. But they sort of didn't dig the food. Sort of. So we only got 20 seeds. And half of the hot line leaves you 10 seeds. Not bad. But there's a little matter of breakages. Adds up to four. Four seeds? We get one seed for a whole day's work? Hey, that's just enough for half a slice of pizza. Yeah, split five ways. <laughs> in there for the street frogs. We'll have the pizza special. Uh, one slice. Or four. He's on a diet. A low pizza diet. Hey, that was good, Max. You're coming along. <laughs> <laughs> was the Kingfishers with another hunk of burning funk. And now it's hotline time. And here's our first caller. You got the hotline. How can we work our watts off to help you? Uh, this is Greg down at the garage. Hey, any chance you could round up four or five guys for a day? What's the gig? Oh, well, you might say it's uh, singing, dancing. Well, I'm sort of holding an audition today. For a group to put a little show business into the garage business. Well, I think I got just a ticket for you. Street Frogs, you out there? Come on down, here. A big, big chance. chance! Again. Hold it, Hot Shots. I'll say it once, don't want to say it twice. Who's going to pay for this pizza slice? Hey, that was slick. The man can rap. But don't call us. We'll call you. Where are you going, honey lover? We just got a gig from the hotline. An audition. Yeah, a big audition. Sunflower Oil? What a name. So 
sounds like a salad dressing. Holy frogs, I think I'm in love. With that heat? Who are you kidding? This is a collector's item, my frog. A garbage collector's item, you mean? You're the street frogs, huh? Uh, it could be okay. What's the gig? The scam. The jive. The routine. Huh? The job. Oh, oh yeah, that. Uh, simple, easy. Yeah, yeah. You pump a little gas. You wash a few cars. You keep the place neat and do the sunflower dance. The sunflower dance. Oh, you can dance, can't you? Otherwise, I'd be wasting the twenty each. Twenty seeds each. You got it. Let's dance. Want water, oil, or gas? Greg's is a place you shouldn't pass. We'll fill you up and check your gauge. Sunflower oil is all the rage. We'll check your tires and your brakes. Hey, what a different service makes. Have a flower? Hey, take two. Greg's sunflower is the gas for you. Well, thank you, street frogs. <laughs> So this is your big audition. <laughs> Yo, hey, fill her up, Sam. <laughs> sure, sure, all the way. <laughs> the man wants it all the way, so let's give it to him all the way. Can I be going and building? Get a beat going and build it. Get the rhythm and the feel on the two four track. Now assemble all the guns for a rap attack. Get a beat going and build it. Get a beat going and build it. Add a little extra on the top. Blow a little fill to make it pop. Push a little bass to help you feel. Add a little crowd for a crowd appeal. One tire, new set of shocks, spilled gas, dry cleaning one suit, disorderly conduct. Have a nice day. Well, if I'm lucky, I still got my other job. This is my last hop line gig. Five seeds. Ain't nothing we can buy with that. I wouldn't say nothing. Oh, no, you don't, Moose. You got it! I 
would have given him five to take it away. It's all ours. We bought it. What do you mean, we? Quit splashing. Stay loose. Where can you get a car for that kind of seed? If it's ours, let's go for a ride. Yeah! Slick, let's do it. Start it up, Moose! Look, I got good news and I got bad news. Now, what's the good news? This crate doesn't have a motor. No motor? Hmm, how's that good news? Because none of us is old enough to have a driver's license. Okay, what's the bad news? We ain't going no place. need a license to drive a car without a motor, do you? Hmm, I don't think the question ever comes up. Then how are we gonna get this car of ours out of here? Ribbit? Frog power. Big Max, you can steer. Get your seatbelt on. Just a little bit more. Now, stop. Running into you here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're stars. How about warming up that slice? Put it on my tab. Big Max, your tab just went through the roof. <laughs> <laughs> Bop in your hop, more bump in your jump with the Street Frogs next. Hey, Frog, check out this sky hook. Yeah, Moose, that was some sky hook. But maybe you should go for a little less sky and a lot more hook. <laughs> <laughs> hey! <laughs> Stay loose, Moose! Sure isn't my day. Typhoon Toad on the road till dawn. 23 and a half hours a day, every day on WRIB Ribbit. Double 11 on your dial. Frog, that typhoon don't ever sleep. And remember all you ears out there in listener land, the WRIB DJ contest ends tomorrow. So if you think you have the talent to be a DJ, let's hear from you. A disc jockey? Shh! Listen! Send in your DJ demo tapes by midnight tomorrow or you will be O-U-T of the running. And that spells out, you dig? Okay, okay, all right. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Seems you doing a solo act, Moose. What about us? Yeah, yeah. How about me? I can do it. I can be a JJ. Uh, that's DJ Big Max. Besides, what could a little frog like you do? This is Big Max, frog with the facts. Coming at you with a rap and roll. Right here on WRIB Radio. The home of the big toe, who I am replacing as a substitute. <laughs> rap and roll? What is that? I just invented it. It could be big, frog. It could be the biggest. Yeah, but what is it, little frog? Hey, I'm working on it. Give me a break, will ya? Any time. I'm only a tap hole. All right, all right. Let's cool out. We need a guest star. Someone hot and new. Someone to make a debut on my, uh, our show. Yeah, but where are we going to find this new hot star? 
someone call my name? <laughs> the frog said, a new hot star, Loretta. But well, I am so new and so hot. Dr. Slick, frog, I'm smoking. Give me some rhythm, spider. Give me an intro, moose. This is Moose the Loose on your radio dial. Come on in and stay a while. Gonna make your day. Gonna rap away with the number one on the charts today. Featuring Loretta. Oh, um, uh, Honey Love Loretta. And the Street Frogs. Chillin'. Take it in your back. Chillin'. Let it go by, yeah. Chillin'. Don't try to push it where it won't go No, 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 no. Some days are better than others, you know So don't try to force it when it won't go Give it a rest before you try again You'll be surprised when you can fly again Your mind's always working, know it or not Even when you're sleeping, your brain is hot So don't get down on yourself when your rap starts to fade Get out of the sun and get into the shade Chillin' Take a day off and Chillin' Let it go by, yeah Chillin' Don't try to push it where it won't go No, 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 no Chillin' Take your day off and Chillin' Let it go by, yeah Chillin' Don't try to push it where it won't go No, 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 no. Chillin' Take your day off and Chillin' Let it go by, yeah Hey, Moose, Moose, wake up, frog Huh? Uh, uh, j- just daydreaming about what it'll be like when we win that contest. I guess you won't be patronizing this place once you're famous radio personalities. <laughs> my, how am I gonna get on without you? Anything I or my assistant can get you? Order, my good man. One glass and four straws. Yeah, Snappy. Waiting for stardom makes a frog thirsty for some pond juice. Stardom, what? Startled! <laughs> How? <laughs> Whoa! One hour to tapo coming up! That was Uptown Rudy with Wrap Your Cares Away. And now this is your old croaker, the wettest, the bubbliest Typhoon Toad, announcing the WRIB Substitute DJ Contest winner. Third runner up, Square Harold. Square Harold! Second runner up, Lily Mae Jones. The first runner up, Street. Oh no, too dry, frog. Excuse me, Pond City listeners. That's Sweet Maria and Little Marty. Hey, he's doing And the winner. Or should I say, winners, Dr. Slick, Moose the Loose, Spider, and Loretta, also known as Honey Love, the Street Frogs. It's okay, I can handle it. Seems like the toad has slipped up, a little oversight, forgetting the star turn of the frogs act, Big Max. We're on the air, we're on the moon. From dawn to dusk, you'll hear us groove. The latest rap, the latest roll. Number one on the listener poll. Oh, yeah, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, nice. And now remember, frogs, the toads got a reputation to protect here at WRIB. All you got to do is play the songs on that tape and read the word from this book. Read the book and play the tape. You got that, frogs? We got it, Typhoon. Read the book and play the tape. We got it. We're chilling out on a lily pad, Typhoon. You just go cool out and have a good vacation. That was Banana Rap by the Skins here on WRIB. And this is your guest DJ, Moose the Loose, along with Honey Love, Dr. Slick. Spider and Big Max! Hi, Mom! And now, back to our show with the Golden Oldie. Rip Rap, we're having the ball. Hey, this is the 
this is the life. Freedom for 24 hours. And the frogs ain't doing so bad. A little dull, maybe. Boy, this is dull. The dullest. Yeah. We could play our tape. Uh-uh. The toad said to stick to the book. Or else... Or else what? Yeah! yeah. This is the Typhoon Toad Show, and this is your substitute DJ, Moose the Loose. We hope you're having a great day, and now we're gonna make it the greatest day ever because the street frogs are gonna shake up your sunshine and mix it with the sound of the newest, hottest group in town with their latest release. Never heard anywhere before, it's by the street frogs. Chill it. The street frogs. Chill it. Let it go by, yeah. Chill it. Don't try to push it where it won't go No, 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 no. Some days are better than others you know So don't try to force it when it won't go Sorry, Typhoon We had to do it Hey, Mr. Toad We didn't mean to file things up for you It's for you! You got the Toad! Uh-huh, you, you did, yeah, uh -huh. Well, well, look, the toad will be back with you soon. Uh, you got the toad. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, the toad will be back with you. Uh, hello, you got the toad. What? I don't believe this. A special request from the president. What? <clears throat> well, of course, Mr. President. Yes, sir. Uh, my latest discovery. Oh, yeah, my latest discovery. The street frogs. Mm-hmm. You did it, frogs. Number 150 with a bullet. What's the bullet? That means nowhere to go but up. Yeah. We've been booked for the typhoon's next vacation. Oh, yeah. And when's his next vacation? Well, that's kind of a problem, Snappy Sam. Yeah. Typhoon 2 just bought himself a sun lamp for the studio. <laughs> I'm a My Little Pony Mommy with ponies all around and I love the way the flutter ponies wings flutter up and down. I love all the flutter ponies, they're as pretty as can be. I'm a My Little Pony Mommy, I want them in my family. I'm a My Little Pony Mommy and as you can clearly see, I've got pretty new flutter ponies in my family. My Little Pony Flutter Ponies eat sold separately. Hi, my name is Roland, and these are fruit wrinkles. They're very small, but they taste like a whole bunch of fruit in your mouth. And these are fruit roll-ups. They're big and flat, and you can twist them and tear them. Whoa! With real fruit, that would be very messy. But fruit roll-ups and fruit wrinkles are made with real fruit. Right, Mom? Right, Roland. I like them because when they put in the fruit, they put in the fun, too. <laughs> He's lean, he's mean, a karate machine. He's karate cat, he's a pussy cat, and I love him a lot. Karate cat! Karate cat! I'm lean, I'm mean, a karate machine. Key! Karate cat! Oh, karate cat! Karate cat! I have sardine turnovers for breakfast every day, yeah? Liver puffs. I told you to get sardine turnovers. I always have sardine turnovers. Yeah, hey, what's the big idea? No sardine turnovers. So I overslept this morning, so kill me. Maybe I should have come over each morning to wake you. Just leave me alone and you'll have your turnovers. <laughs> Smells great already. You! So that's it! You've been hogging all the sardine turnovers! 
That's what I would have done if I knew you wanted them. But it's his fault. He didn't make any. Yeah? Well, come on. Hey, what the... Take it easy, will you get to my sign? Uh, what's the matter, Big Papa? It's gone. Go back. Go back. I paid for it. It's got to be here somewhere. Take the place apart, boys. Yeah, this is it. The claws. I hear they're the best detectives in the business. Can I help you? Hey, say, you look very familiar. Hey, you guys, too. Mm. Uh, what can we do for you? I hear you're the best. The best. You heard right. Impressive. It's my pile stick pin. Worth a hundred thousand. It's been stolen. What's the racket? <gasps> you! Yeah, you! You're McClure. I should have guessed. Yeah, maiden name, remember? Yeah, Katie McClure. <laughs> Boy, you sure was a good looker. Toss him and his goons out of here. Hey, 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 hold it. This is a job, right? You want to find the stick pin? We'll find it. Yeah, a double, triple, a usual fee. What? A thousand. A dollars a day. Forget it. Better than going to jail for non-payment of six months back alimony. You always did know the way to my heart. Okay, you got it. But it better not take more than a day. Uh, one question. Uh, where'd you see it last? Edie Pomfret Pastry Palace. Uh, sardine pastry joint. Yeah, the same. You'll have it by tonight, or you pay nothing. Deal. Goodbye, Katie McClaw. Hmm. When was the last time Big Papa could have had the stick pin? <gasps> when he was watching the pastry cook mix the batter. Exactly. Which means that somewhere in this town, someone is about to bite down on a hundred thousand dollar stick pin in the sardine turnover. Nah. Hey, come on. We gotta find out who it was bought that sardine turnover before they do. <laughs> I ain't paying no thousand bucks to heart. Hey, we're in luck. All the shop's pastry customers are right in this area. I'll start with the restaurant on the corner. gonna be able to even look at another sardine turnover, sumo side. Hey, don't tell me. We got it! Oh. Look, Catatonic, it's Boom Boom Burmese and Sumo Sai. They found it. The Pearl, grab it! Karate Cat, it's the Pearl! Catch it! I'm lean. I'm mean. A karate machine. 
It's a karate cut! After him! on him, I'll... Never fear, Karate Cat is here. Big Mama just gave you the pearl? Oh, so how did you do it, Big Papa? <laughs> I sweet talked her. Big Mama always was a pushover for my fatal charm. I replaced it with a fake. I saw that list of missing jewels, too. Oh, wow, Karate Cat. You're just a genius. Ah, uh, I'll bet you say that to all the geniuses. He who pats himself on the back too hard, sooner or later falls on his face. I hope. Kiao, baby. What do you get when you multiply Teddy Ruxpin by five? The adventures of Teddy Ruxpin, five days a week. That's right. Now you can see Teddy and all his friends every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, right here on this station. That's five times the laughter, five times the excitement, five times the adventure. Wow! The adventures of Teddy Ruxpin. It's five times the fun, no matter how you add it up. Weekday mornings at 8 on TV 45. Once upon a time, far, far away in the land of Lovely Lux, there lived a beautiful girl named Lady Lovely Lux and her friends, the Pixie Tails. In this magical land were a handsome prince, a kindly wizard, and a very jealous girl named Raven Waves. Come into this magical world and share their adventures. Sunday morning at 9 on TV 45. Watch Harold! 
Are you sure this is a good idea, T-Ray? You got a better one, Walleye? Our own planet's dried up. From now on, Watero will be our base. There, take it down over that icy part. Like they're alive. Alive, huh? Well, blast them with the heat rays just to be sure. Immediately, this is an emergency. You are entering a classified area of Tiger Shark's intergalactic underwater salvage. To avoid the alarm system, please identify yourself by voice print. I'm Big Julie from Jupiter. Okay, okay, hold it. It's only me. Just kidding around. Sark, it's Tiger Shark Dolph. Identity confirmed. You may enter the Sark. Up here, old tricks again with Sark? Huh, Dolph? Oh, just for a laugh. Say, Mako, how's Lorca doing up there on Watero? having a tough time. We're expecting his latest report any moment. There's a 12-hour delay. It was a dumb idea sending him up there to salvage that spaceship alone. I don't know why I agree to it. He does have those Watarians to help him, Waro. I just hope they're all he needs, Angel. They better be. There's two tons of X-400 on that ship. And if that X-400 ever gets into the wrong hands, it's enough to knock Earth clear out of orbit. I don't even want to think about it. Pretty good picture of Watero, eh? Does the Sark have a complete analysis yet, Captain? You heard the man, Sark. What have you got so far? The planet Watero, 90% ocean. Inhabitants can exist and breathe above or below the water. The Imagine if we could do that. I have. Hold it, Sark. Log into Tiger Sharks. I think I've located the X-400. I'm moving out of the bubble to take a closer look. What's happening up there? Help! Tiger Sharks! Mayday! 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 Prepare for an emergency takeoff, Zark. We can blast off in four minutes, 12 seconds. That gives us just enough time. What? Come with me, quickly. Stay down there for the moment. What have you been up to? What is all this? I'll explain. Now, for years, I've dreamed about existing, living, working underwater for long periods of time without bulky equipment. And one day, I came upon the answer. A way for man to breathe underwater. <laughs> like a fish, huh? Exactly. And that's how I came to invent this. The fish tank. The professor, he's turned into a walrus. Incredible. <laughs> Come on in, Tiger Sharks. The water's fine. <laughs> Here goes nothing. Right. 
I don't believe it. I look like a... <laughs> a shark! And you, Dolph? Unbelievable! And me, I'm a dolphin. We're almost fish. All of us. Octavia, frog, angel. And hold your questions. Later. Come with me. Follow. I assume you figured out a way back to our normal bodies? You have, Walro, haven't you? <laughs> of course, Brock. But we must always go back the way we came. This is the only way back to our regular bodies. We are clearing Earth's atmosphere, deploying solar sails. For the last time, what are you doing here on what hero? Did I say again? I am Lorca from Intergalactic Salvage. And that's all you're going to get. You're not a fish, you know. One pull, and you wouldn't last two minutes at this depth. <laughs> Capitan Bizarre here. Come to thank you for freeing me from my icy vacation. Won't you join me aboard for a friendly chat? Whoever you are. Won't you join me aboard for a friendly chat? I wonder. We accept, Captain. In friendship. <laughs> I'll be waiting for you. When you see them, Dragonstein. Yes, we can trust him after all. <laughs> He's one of us. <laughs> We are both on the same side, Captain Mazzarli. We have the same cause. And what cause is that, fish man? Why, evil, of course. What other cause is there? <laughs> we are over Lorca's last known position. Look! There, two ships of a sort. Let's land and investigate. They're diving. We better get under and see what they're up to. doesn't happen, eh? Dog, those look deadly. I'll take the first one. Nice move, Guaro. Echo, in back of you. Running out of air. Must get surface. Dolphins need air, Mako. Dolphins in trouble. Quick! Thanks, Tiger Sharks. I needed that. 
Look, the last one. We'll never catch up with it. Oh, no. <laughs> Just hang on. Stand by, Sark. Release steel net. Reverse electric field. Die, Polo! Die! Thank you, Captain. We're coming aboard. Collect your fish and follow us. This may come as a surprise, but I can use you. Today, nothing would surprise me. He'll work for us, Dragon Style, if we let him think we're working for him. <laughs> hey, my pet. Angel and me are gonna follow that weird ship, see where it's headed. Just make sure you stay well back and keep in touch all the way. Yeah, these guys play rough. Meanwhile, let's contact the Watarians. Maybe they can help us locate Lorca. I am called Papa Gallo. My name form is Hydra. And I am known as Gobi. We are the ruling council of Watero, and we welcome you. We hope you can help us in our search for another of our kind, a tiger shark named Lorca. I'm afraid he may be in dire trouble. We had a report of an invasion by unfriendly Mantanas in that region. Who are these Mantanas? Where do they come from? We do not know them, only that they have freed two of our most feared enemies, Captain Bizarrely and the terrible Dragonstein. For many years, we Wactarians lived in peace and safety because our ancestors froze all of our enemies into the ice of a place called Siberia. Bazali and these newcomers are working together, it could mean the end of Watero as a place of peace in the galaxy. They must have gotten in somehow. I think I saw an entrance through that way. No way. Not through that. Well, I'm going to give it a try. Okay, Bronx. If you're game. terrifying than out there. Yeah. Look. Let's contact Mako. I've got a feeling we may have found Lorca. Clever devices you have here, Bizarrely. I'm glad you think so. Now, who are you? And what do you want on Watero? I am T-Ray, head fish of the Mantanas. With you above the surface and us below, we could take over this place, get rid of these Watarians, or use them. Uh, you may be right, much as I hate to admit it. I love the water. First thing we have to do is unfreeze the rest of your crew, then find out who this person is, what he was doing here. And who his underwater friends are. I have no friends. I'm here alone. I am Lorca, 
just an explorer. Call the rest of your school together. We sail for Siberia in an hour. T-Ray to Mantana. I want everyone at Bazarly's castle on the double. Have Carper and Weakfish bring the sawbill with them now. I've pinpointed their location. All we have to do now is find our way in. Vehicle approaching at one mile and closing from southwest. No, come on. <laughs> What? Wait till Walro sees him. Come on, Gump. Look, coming up on your left. Let's trail him. This water's cold, and it's dark, and it's my day off. Too much. I'm getting seasick. I think I'm gonna... <laughs> I hate dogs. I'm afraid of dogs. They've got Lorca chained. Careful, there's a dragon and a room full of air. I'll take it from here. I could use a breather. Lorca is a I'd like to introduce you to a dear friend, Dragonstein. Incinerate him! Lurk, it's me, Dolph! Cute, huh? What? How? Dragonstein? No time for questions. I'm dull. Trust me. Come on. This is all too bizarre. Come on, that won't hold him for long. If I were seeing it with my own eyes, I'd never believe it. I thought for a moment that you weren't coming back with me. I'm sure glad I did. So, this fish tank was your idea, Walro. You're a genius. Oh, only took a few years of tinkering. Oh, Walro, almost forgot. We have a little surprise for you. Gop! Hey, Gop! Well, I'll be fried and filleted. Even Gop? It's hard to believe, Walro. Hey, Lorca hasn't tried it. Yeah, in the fish tank with you. Here to give it a try? Sure, why not? I wonder what he'll be. Go for it, Lorca! It's good to be back, Tiger Sharks. I feel like my old self again. <laughs> Hold on, you've got a tiger by the tail. Next on Tiger Sharks.
got a tiger by the tail. Hold on, tiger shark, tiger shark. The first ship with a sail. And hold on, tiger shark. Sharks, we are not equipped to defend ourselves against the Mantana's attacks. And we will never be able to recapture Captain Bizarrely if you leave us. We'd like to help you, Hydra, but as you know, we came to Otero to salvage a spaceship. A spaceship with a cargo of X-400, the deadliest explosive in the universe. If we don't succeed, if Bizarrely or the Mantanas get to that X-400 first, there won't be a safe place on this or any other planet. Yeah, you can bet the Mantanas must want it back pretty bad, though. And my guess is they'll try to take it back the first chance they get. Bronk, Angel, this is Octavia. You better bring that sawbill back here to the Sark. We're going to cast off and head for the X-400 in exactly five minutes. Okay, Octavia, we're on our way. <laughs> You terrified twins. You let the tiger shark steal the sawbill. They tricked us, T-Ray. It wasn't our fault. It could have happened to anyone. Besides, T-Ray, the sawbill's only one of our weapons. We've got plenty of others, T-Ray. You cowardly excuses for fish. We're going to cut Captain Bizarrely's pirates out of the ice in Siberia. We need the sawbill. Now get out there, find the tiger sharks, and bring that sawbill back. Come on, Walleye. Let's go get Captain Bizarrely. Once we've freed his pirates from Siberia, we'll be able to join forces and move against the Tiger Sharks. The sooner we get rid of the Tiger Sharks, T-Ray, the sooner we can destroy those feeble Watarians and make this planet our own. Welcome, fishmen. I trust you have made your preparations. Huh? Of course, Captain Bizarrely. We are ready to journey to Siberia. I just hope these pirates of yours will be as useful and unpleasant as you promised us. Don't you worry your strange head about that, my fishy friend. My pirate crew are some of the nastiest companions you could hope for. Then what are we waiting for? Let us go and free them. I don't like this one little bit, weak fish. We can get hurt. I feel ill, Carper. I think I'm getting a virus. We're in this together, weak fish. And if we don't succeed, T-Ray will make us both into fish chowder. Look! to get into their ship to get our saw bill. Mm, I just hope all the tiger sharks are down there. What do you think they're doing? Oh, who cares? Let's go find our saw bill. Listen. The saw bill. Hi. Sock 
to Tiger Sharks. All lifting gear is in position. We will be raising the X-400 in exactly 60 seconds. I'll be glad when that X-400 is safely on its way to Earth, Angel. Me too, Bronk. That stuff's deadly. Imagine what would happen if those weird fish people got hold of it. Weird fish people? Oh, shut up, weak fish. T-Ray will pay well for this information. <laughs> the Mantanas? <laughs> They'd probably blow themselves up. I doubt they're bright enough to handle a lethal explosive like X-400. what that would do for fish kind. We could move about on land. We'd never have to depend on water again. Wait till T-Ray hears this. My sensors are picking up an engine in the forward hatch area. The sawbill? Can't be. Let's take a look. Mantanas, what nerve. Angel, Bronk, after them. We can't let them get away with that. We're on it, Walro. Come on, Bronk. Where do you suppose they're headed? We'll soon see. Looks like they're headed north. It's all ice up there. That's Siberia. We're headed for dangerous territory, Octavia. Siberia is where the Watarians throws all their enemies. I'm going to call the others. We'll postpone lifting the X-400 and follow Angel and Bronk. <laughs> it's good to see old friends, eh, Dragonstein? <laughs> now... Which one shall we free first? Ah, and my faithful grant. Free him, Dragonstein! Uh, 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 I'm free! Uh, uh, Captain Bizarre, sir! Uh, uh, how can I... Uh, Thank you. Go do something useful, Grant. Help those wretched fish creatures free our friends. Who oh, or oh, what are you? Grump, that's my name. And crushing people, I said crushing people. That's my game. Put him down, Lump. There's a good fellow. He's one of us, a friend for the time being. Maybe this is a bad idea, T-Ray. Freeing these pirates will only make Bizarrely stronger. They'll help us take over this planet, and then we'll dump them. What kept you so long? <clears throat> well, don't just sit there gulping. Get some water-breathing gear from the Mantana and help us free these pirates. <clears throat> This is serious, Angel. We need help. Bronk to Sark. I hear you, Bronk. Go ahead. We tracked those Mantanas to Siberia. They're releasing all Captain Bizarrely's men. Bronk! Look out! <coughs> spies! Spies! <coughs> Destroy the spies! <coughs>
Are you sure we're at maximum? We're at top speed, Professor. Take it easy, Walro. Angel and Bronk will be okay. I've got a fix on them, Sharks. We'll be on them in a couple of minutes. Oh, we should all have stuck together. Angel and Bronk are tiger sharks, Walro, just like the rest of us. We all have to take our chances. They may be young, but they can look after themselves. Uh, uh, bury the spies! Uh, uh, bury the spies! I'm beginning to get cold feet about this, Angel. Whoa! Angel, help me! Hang on, Brock! I'm coming! If those two squirts are the best the tiger sharks can put up, bizarrely, we're in good shape. A fine twist to history, Tire. Just as the Waterians' enemies are freed from the ice, <laughs> and their friends are trapped in it! Papa! Weak fish! There's one over here! <laughs> If you ask me, there's something fishy going on here. Thanks for the breakout, fishman. We'll be on them when we round that point. Octavia, Lorca, you stay topside. Dolph, Walro, we'll get below. the Mantana and move those fins, Mantanas. We've got fighting to do. Those interfering tiger sharks are beginning to bore me, Dragonstein. <laughs> this time, we'll finish them for good! Put a warning shot across the Mantana's bow, Lorca. A warning shot, Octavia? I'll sink them. Those guys live underwater. Sinking them won't do any good. And if they've got Angel and Bronk, it won't do them any good either. My fine pirate crew, stand by to send those interfering tiger sharks to a watery grave. Open your fire! Dolph, see if you can find any sign of Angel or Bronk. You got it, Mako. We'll catch up with you after we've taken care of that thing. Leave that to me, Mako. We could deal with the Mantana that conclusively. Hey, 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 hey! Had a 
enough sharks for one great tiger sharks? There's plenty more where that came from. <laughs> if my eyes don't deceive me, Shad, the tiger sharks will soon be cinders. Permission to activate Tailfin, Octavia. Please do, Sark. Don't just talk about it, Sark. Whack the beggars. Righty ho. What in the name of black and blue fish is going on here? Look! There's a, a crack in the hull! We're taking in air! We'll drown! Take us down, T-Ray. We've still got a lot to learn about those blasted tiger sharks. I don't like the look of this, Angel. Those pirates are going to get a second crack at us if we don't get moving. Hey, Angel. Maybe we could get this ball rolling. They're getting away! Stop them! I'll flatten them, Captain Bizarre, sir! I'll flatten them! Angel, Bronk, quickly now. Look out! Quick as you can, sharks. I've got an idea that'll fix that dragon. <laughs> Reduce them to cinders! Burn them out! Melt their miserable hides! Sark, load up your cannons with seawater. I think I understand, Mako. Good idea. Fire water cannons! <laughs> water! I love the water! Get me out of here, Dragonstein! Back to Castle Dragonstone! Here it comes. The last of the X-400. The sooner we get that stuff back to Earth, the happier I'll be. Good work, Tiger Sharks. Now let's make a move before Bizarrely or the Mantanas have a chance to make a grab for this stuff. Sure, if those guys get a hold of the X-400, Watero will be a mighty dangerous place. All set to move, Octavia? All set, Mako. Wait. Angel and I just want to thank you all. For dropping everything and coming to help us. You don't need to thank us. You did pretty good on your own. Besides, if we tiger sharks don't stick together, 
Where would we be? Uh, out of our depth. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>